Good morning, guys. We are gonna try some ranked games. I was having, for whatever reason, I was having trouble getting onto the uh, ranked ladder earlier. Here we go. We are gonna go back to Project Priest for a little bit. The daily, my daily, is to do it with a uh, priest. So let's see. Hopefully, we can move up in ranks and. Do okay, all the priests have been doing pretty horrible for us. It's been pretty difficult. I actually think the Ancient Watcher package is worse against Hunter. Um, yeah, this is a key. Uh, the Control Hunter is very difficult to deal with because we don't put enough pressure on our opponent. But we will see. Let me go ahead and play this out early. Right away. Hey, yeah. uh, early cleric is good because if they're on the aggro hunter, it's going to be able to trade early, and you want to be able to establish. Uh, stuff on the board as early as possible. Here I'm gonna heal right instead of playing the Earthen Ring Farseer because I want the Farseer to give me the full value of the three heal and I also don't want to follow up my turn four with three creatures on the board. So that's the reasoning here. It could be very possible that this is control um what is that? Uh, control hunter because uh, he hasn't dropped anything yet, so kind of tells me that he's been control hunter. Explo uh, ex I expect the, uh, not explosive shot, but, uh, or yeah, explosive shot or whatever, the one that hits adjacent guys. That seems like a possible play. Well, there could be many, many options here. Um, it's a trap of some sort, but fuck it. And yeah, you know, hopefully it gets misdirected to me. There you go. That'll work out well. So that's fine. Now, now is a time when I'm going to go ahead and, and play stuff on the board. Now, I have to worry about adjacent. I wanted to put this over here, but for whatever reason, I wasn't able to. So this is a mistake. I wanted to put this Earthen Ring Forcer next to the Northshire Cleric, but I was too busy talking. <laughs> and um, this might... This might end up killing everything I got on a board. So, so where you put the minions does matter, you know. Um, and I'm telling you, with priests, this is so much more apparent than with other classes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, let's see. Okay, another secret is probably another misdirect. Um. It could be a misdirect, it could be a freezing trap, any number of things, okay? So let's let's think about the options here. Let's think about what happens depending on who we attack with. Alright? If we attack with this guy, the Northshire Cleric, we have three things if it's a misdirection. If it's a misdirection, three things can happen. We have a 66% chance of hitting these two guys and then losing our Cleric and we have a 33% chance of hitting us. If we use this guy, we have a 33% chance of losing the Earth, Earth and Rearing Forest here, 33% chance of this. This is the best attack, because even if it's Freezing Trap, then that's going to be beneficial to us. Okay, so it's Explosive Trap. That's actually even better. So um, I'm going to show you why right now. So here we go. Heal everything up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cards in hand. Nice. Awesome. We don't have a lot of eight. Well, actually, we do. So. We're actually threatening very well with what we have. We 
a surprisingly surprisingly decent hand. Okay, so he's gonna draw three here. Well, Timberwolf and then draw a few more, I think. He's thinking about a card to use up. Probably kill command to this. Smart play. This is very smart play because uh quickly. That's fine. We don't want creatures on the board, guys. Like, that is one of the things we do not want. Eh, this is fine. This is totally fine. It wasn't the best use of my mana when I think about it. Like I could have, uh, could have smited it. See, but I want to save this. I want to save this combo: wild pyromancer and smite for when he gets board control and plays a... Uh... Look at this, he outdrew me. He's already outdrawn me. That is insane. He's gonna outdraw me by five cards. Crazy. Insane. Very tough to deal with. Tell me what you think about the quality of this video. I put this video at 360p. It just takes me so long to upload. Uh, Leroy, will he go on Mr. Hound? Okay, I'm just gonna... yeah. Oh, he missed the attack. One, two, three, four. Do you like to play with fire? Oh, that was a misplay. What a horrible decision on my part. Heal up. Get a card. So, no more Unleash the Hounds. Uh, that means I can play very aggressively with board state. And that's what I'm gonna do. Use it. Uh, yeah. oh, I guess he got a bad hand. I don't, I don't really know what to say, but... Let's just say that that's what's happened. That is what happened. And, yeah, we're just gonna be aggressive with it. Like, yeah, you know... Putting him in a position where anything he attacks on the board is. Yeah, you know, I keep placing them incorrectly though. The thing is, they all do significant amount of damage, so explosive sh or whatever that shot is. He used both of Mr. Hound, right? Yeah, he did. So. We have absolutely nothing to fear here. I think we actually threaten with lethal now, so. Three, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll see. Alright, trying to get in there. I respect that. So this is probably explosive trap. So we're just gonna... Ah, actually I may have just made a huge mistake there. No. So I guess let's see what it is. Yeah, well... That tends to happen. Feel my pain. Let's not give him a chance to do anything. 
Yay, we got a win. Way to go. And bonus stars. That's what I want to see. Started off pretty well. Our opponent stumbled in the beginning. I, I don't really think that he played the... I, I'm pretty sure that's not how Hunter decks want to play out in the beginning, so... He did well. Anduin versus Gerash. Victory on death! The light shall bring victory. Okay, it's a warrior. Everything else in this just hand is too late, so... Uh, if it's Control Warrior, this this is... Okay. But this is if this is Aggro Warrior, we lose. So no turn one play. Okay, so it's okay. It is control warrior, so this is actually it's not too bad. So switch you got, give us some stuff. Nice. Okay, chill with Yetis, huh? So there is a card we gotta worry about. Let us see. Let the pain speak to me. Interesting. interesting. Oh, oh, I'm Acolyte of Pain, like, this these, this matchup has so many cards that we want to take. Um, let's play that. Yeah. Nice, getting a bunch of cards there. Getting that value. Um, we're going to use this combo. Ooh, actually, now I don't know. Hmm. Actually, yeah, that's okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. Like he's staying right on point with the draw. Like he's actually ahead of us now. But. Mm. I feel like we have the stronger late game, so I'm gonna follow this up with Cho and Yeti plus that. Speak to me. I think that would be significant. So it's gonna be difficult for him to, unless he uses Execute, which uh, I want, you know. And the thing about Power Word Shield is you don't necessarily give your opponent a two for one if they kill the creature that it's on, because you draw your card, and that's what you want it to do. Like the bonus plus uh, three uh, plus two life, all that is is that's just that's a bonus. That's that's some extra value you get out of it, you know. So, so what is this? Ooh, slam. Okay, well that's one slam gone. And this is pretty good in terms of value. So let me take that. Remember, I took got rid of one cabal shadow priest and I put something else at the six drop spot, the black knight. So. See what the play is. No. Yo. What is up? What is up? Um. No, 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 not Anario, bro. Harold. You're fighting Harold. Yeah, the brother. Not Anario. But it's tentative, huh? This is not Garant. It's not guaranteed yet, it's still tentative. Harold Benario. Of course. Uh I guess I don't know. Uh, yeah, he fought PXC before, but I mean I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't remember, bro. You, you have to just Google it on, on Sherdog or something. Okay. 
Shoot you. So as you can see here, I'm losing I'm losing a lot of advantage here, card advantage. Because of Gorhal. Gorhal just really uh, puts a wrench into a lot of my plans. Um, of course. Shit, I mean, to be honest, I don't really know. I don't know. I really don't know what to do. Like, I am losing every every Gorehouse is just giving him so much advantage. I'm cutting into the armor, but like, life is a resource, guys, and you know he has a way of getting that life every turn. So this is not good for us. This is pretty horrible. Uh, I have two options here. I'm gonna shadow where death this. I, I could play two for one, but he probably has executes. So I am just gonna make this play. Heal up. That's um, it's a safer play. Um, you know, I could all I could have shadow or death my Sylvanas and taken the rag and then you know eight to him. Uh, I have no time for games. But we have to question like how worthy that would have been, you know. It's really, really, just really a difficult thing to, to say right now, so. Really difficult. So. Okay. Feeling pretty comfortable here. I mean, Alex Straws is still a thing, so not you know, cannot lie. There, there, there are things that could really suck for us, but like this is the nature of this matchup. There's no other way to play this. Like we literally have to just sit back. I bring life. So there's Alex Straza, you know, it is problematic. We could very well die. To, um, okay, let's think of the damage. Um, Gramash plus the Cruel Taskmaster, that's 12, plus 4 to 16. So, I mean, we need to make this heal just to stay out of range of dying. So, that's, that's what we're doing there, okay? We gotta worry about that. So, that's 4 plus 12, you know, 16. That was a necessary evil. Nice little slam. Chill win. There you go. I mean, okay, so that's eight. Plus 12, that's 20. Hmm. I gotta play this out. It, it probably doesn't even have a target, so like this is this is to just stay alive. So like we gotta worry about the Gromash combo, so Gorhal is pretty much saving me. Okay, well. That's a pretty relevant target. Um, I think we want to steal that. Like, uh, this, this is not too bad of a turn. Like, he doesn't have Tink Master, so we're going to get full value out of this. Uh,
I'm worried about your Sarah now. That's, that's probably one of those. And you know, we're we're low. We're we're late into the game, so. Life is a resource, guys. So trying to put me at one. Yeah. Oh, okay, so not. Actually, not even what I thought it was going to be. Execute, okay. Okay, we're at seven. Um, we can't kill it. Um. Yeah, we can't kill it. Uh, what, what do we do? How can we survive this turn? I wonder. Ah, uh, yeah, we got no play, man. We have no play. So, let's hope for the best. It probably has an execute, so. Cruel Taskmaster, execute, attack. Well played. Well, difficult. It was tough. Um, you know, obviously the Black Knight really failed us there. <clears throat> but if you think about the other options, like what the Black Knight would have been, it would have probably been a Cabal Shadow Priest. <sighs> and it is difficult to say whether or not Cabal Shadow Priest would have actually done anything for us there. Mm. Yeah, that's tough. That's 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 difficult. Luciferos, handlock, aggro lock, or murder. The light shall bring victory. Tough to say. Well, we'll keep the Sunjin Shield Master because we'll be able to play him on turn three with coin. Uh, ooh. This is not. Uh, this is interesting. This is interesting, definitely. So. Not too sloppy of a hand, I guess. I feel like he's on hand lock. Okay, Murlocs. Sweet. Ugh. Let's see what we can do. Okay, that works out pretty well, I think. Yeah, that does work out well. And, uh, oh, that's perfect. That's the kind of thing we needed. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and throw out this guy next turn. Lucifer race. Lucifer erase. Eros. What is the name? I have no idea. Ooh, wow. Actually, we got way luckier. We ourselves to negate that guy. It's a much better play. You now we have a taunt up this coming turn. Actually, I might not even taunt. I might just drop Akanai. Actually, no. I, I will taunt. I will put up a taunt. So Four versus our six and one card on board. And he's lower in life. So we are winning, quote-unquote. Murloc's difficult. It's a difficult matchup, right? Plays another Murloc just right into an open. Ooh, two-four, huh? All right, we're gonna do this. this is... this is a 
bigger threat, so we're gonna get that. This is pretty nice. We're in a pretty nice spot, I think. There are things we gotta worry about. Murloc War Leader, you know, there's, there are things. I played that circle of healing pretty aggressively, praying that it's gonna help me control the board. Um, that may or may not work, but we'll see. Yeah, I expected that, so. That's two cards for one, so. Oh. Yeah, that. Yeah, that'll die next turn, so. Murloc tried on that. Okay. Alright, no more answers for you. Uh. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll make this part. It's gonna take him more than that complete one card to deal with it, so. I am kinda worried about Murloc War Reader, though. Like that, that would be huge. Okay, it's not Murloc War Reader. Oh. Okay, well. That's his play, that's a big misplay. Okay, as far as plays go, that's. Huge. So, GG, you lose. You're drawn dead, brother. Unfortunate. This guy just played poorly. It's gonna cost him the game. This is a Murloc hand, you know. If you answer a Murloc hand early, like they really stumble because a lot of the cards are combo based. Um, do you need a blessing? You, know, you gotta think about what you can do. We're in a pretty good spot here, so we'll just keep the board clear. Continue to keep the board clear. Get a taunt up. Let's heal this guy. Let's, let's keep one card in our hand. Kind of two useless cards right now, but uh, now we're now we're gonna just keep the pressure. Just trying to build up a crazy Merlock hand. He's probably got the uh, old Merc guy. Yeah. So there we go. Pretty easy game. Uh, let's continue.